Hello everyone, it's me Astrid and today I wanted to make my first Orchid Spotlight video talking about the Oncidium Pacific Sunset Hakalau. This orchid is in the Oncidium Alliance, meaning it has pseudobulbs. Its leaves are grassy and a lot thinner than you would find on a Cattleya or Phalaenopsis orchid. Additionally, being in the Oncidium Alliance, that means this orchid is sympodial. It grows multiple growths together, and it allows the plant to be divided and split up and shared with your friends and family, or even sold as divisions. The plant's description is that it's a medium-sized Oncidium. Some Oncidiums can be real monsters, but I would say that this one's about middle-sized. The leaves are 8 to 15 inches long on my orchid, and the plant is a nice medium green color. It's sort of the color of grass, as many orchids tend to be. The pseudobulbs are about 3 to 4 inches tall um, as they get mature, but they might be smaller if you have a young plant. The flowers are 1 inch tall from the bottom of the lip. Of course, this might vary from plant to plant, but that's about the size I'm finding. The lip is a beautiful red magenta color with spiky protrusions that appear just underneath the column, which I find quite interesting. The other petals and sepals on this orchid have a rusty orange color, similar to the Colmenara catatante, and they're quite frilly and wiggly, kind of like the Sherry Baby Orchid. The plant blossoms from a long flower spike, which is about 10 inches long, into a cluster of tiny blossoms, with well over 20 small flowers on each branched spike. And I've read people discussing online that their plants had up to 40 flowers per spike. The roots are a white color with a light grass green growing tip. They're about 1 to 2 millimeters in diameter, and I would consider them to be fine roots as far as most orchids are concerned. To describe the fragrance, and oh, this is a wonderful fragrance, I sit smelling this orchid and notes of muskiness and lemony come into my mind. It's this lovely smell I would wear as a perfume if I could bottle it. It actually smells quite a lot like the Nelly Eiler orchid, so if you have that one, this orchid does smell pretty similar. Different specimens of the plant will clearly have different strength of fragrance. Some orchids that are supposed to be fragrant might be a dud. Some orchids that are supposed to be fragrant will vary in their fragrance. But if you get a good one, it will have a nice, lemony, musky, wonderful smell. This orchid has a fragrance that I notice in my small room from time to time as the sun warms up. This orchid has a daytime fragrance, meaning when the sun comes out and shines on the plant, that's what's triggering it, I think, to release its fragrance. Other orchids are nighttime fragrant, but not this one. The lemon scent of this orchid is not sterile like a household cleaner. It's more like a cologne quality, if you could say a lemon has a cologne quality. As the flowers open, the fragrance builds up in layers, so don't expect a newly opened flower to have the true fragrance or any fragrance at all. These orchids require general Oncidium care. Give it medium light levels, which means give it bright light but never direct sun, because you might risk burning the leaves. Watering varies from region to region, but make sure this plant never goes bone dry. Being a fine-rooted Oncidium, it's more of a water-loving plant. Medium that you use to pot the orchid should retain some water in your climate as the roots like to stay hydrated, but never soggy. Now fertilizing is a personal choice for every gardener, but as for what I do, I fertilize my orchids at home once a month with a balanced fertilizer and I add in some kelp growth stuff that I bought off Amazon to keep the plant fed and healthy. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching my video about the Oncidium Pacific Sunset Hakalau. This is a lovely orchid, especially if you like these beautiful colors. And if you're looking for something fragrant, this is really pleasant, but not overpowering at all. I highly recommend this plant. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for watching and happy growing. Bye!